2020 it was a strange and difficult year for all of us and for some of us a very sad one. We are in 2021 and here's me hoping the new year brings everyone as much joy as it can. So happy new year everyone. We're going to be looking at apps that are not available in the Google Play Store. Let's start with Signhub or Cinehub. Signhub is an app with a large collection of movies and TV shows. It would be a good alternative for apps like Netflix, Prime Video or Disney Plus. It has got a clean and intuitive interface which allows you to search for movies through categories such as romance, action, comedy or you could search via name of the movies or name of the actors or actresses. The app allows you to use a default movie player without needing to install one although I would say the default movie player allows you to do basic things such as play, pause, turning on the captions, forwarding or rewinding and checking the settings. However, if you wanted more such as picture in picture mode to cast the movie to your TV to use equalizer or to download the movie for later consumption, then I would advise you to go for the second media player which will require you to install it. Blocker 5 is an all out ad blocker. Don't get me wrong, I don't have any issues with having ads on your website, but it has to be tasteful. You can't just have ads running every two seconds. There are some websites that are just pretty ridiculous when it comes to adverts. So Blocker 5 will work well for them. You do get a slim version on Google's Play Store, but it does not contain the full features due to Google's policies. Turning it on allows you to block adverts and trackers. You could also see which ads or trackers have recently been blocked. And while viewing all the ads and trackers, you are able to whitelist apps if you wanted to support the developer. And for those apps that are getting too excited with the adverts, you could also block them on the activity menu. Our store is a software repository. It is a catalog of apps which may or may not be in Google Play Store. It is packed to the brim with popular apps such as Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Facebook Lite, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, WhatsApp Messenger, Viber. You get my point. You can also use this store anonymously, meaning you do not have to input your email address or put any personal information on there. You're able to just download the App Store and use the App Store to download whatever apps you want. The store also allows you to spoof your device, language and location. There is something Aurora Store does that really endears me to it, that really makes me love this store. It is that it shows me the trackers in each and every app. So before you download the app, you get this transparent view of what the app does, what permission it needs. These days, apps just love to use data in the background. They love it. I mean, they really love to use the data. What MedGuard allows you to do is it gives you a granular control to what app is allowed to send and receive data or use the internet. You get the option of turning on or turning off, either the Wi-Fi or the mobile data. So if you wanted the app to only use Wi-Fi, then you can turn off the mobile data and when you connect it to Wi-Fi, the app is then allowed to use your data to its heart's content. NetGuard also has a trick up its sleeves. It is an ad blocker. Yeah, I know. To block ad using NetGuard, you need to go into settings, then go into advanced options, after which you will see filter UDP traffic, then toggle on block domain names and filter traffic. AppScope is an app store for progressive web apps. It's got this similar vibe of using Google Store, but you're not actually downloading anything. All you're doing is clicking on an app that you want and clicking on it again to launch and play. Its design functionalities are similar or exactly the same to the other app that you would naturally download on your phone or on your device. There are categories, featured apps and a search function, much like you would find on the Play Store. And true to its origins, AppScope is also a progressive web app so you don't actually need to download AppScope to use the other apps. Thanks for watching guys, I would appreciate it if you leave a like, share and subscribe. And remember, stay safe. See you in the next one.